We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to The Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be diving in and checking out. I'm going to give it to you two ways. Atelier Sophie 2, The Alchemist of the Mysterious Dream, or Atelier Sophie 2, The Alchemist of the Mysterious Dream. It is the latest from Koei Tecmo Games, releasing on February 24th, 2022. A big shout out and a thank you to Koei Tecmo Games for hooking me up with the code for this. They've been phenomenal as of late, hooking me up with all sorts of different things. And uh, I really like a lot of stuff they put out, so it's kind of a match made in heaven, and it means a lot. So thank you guys. I truly do appreciate it. And do not take it for granted at all. That being said, we're going to dive in. We're going to go to New Game and just get started with this. Now, I will probably do a separate thing for the story so far. So if you guys want more context to what happened in the first Atelier or Atelier Sophie, you'll have it. So, all right, New Game. I will be speaking over the Japanese voice acted stuff. Unfortunately, it's not in English like the first one was. I've witnessed countless dreams, and I know this is going to frustrate people, so I apologize ahead of time, but it is what it is. It's what I'm doing, so I'm sorry. If that turns folks off and they don't want to watch it. I am all alone in a world of nothingness. The earth... The sky, the ocean, hopes, desires, passions, all can be found within people's dreams. It's not wrong. One day, I saw a most brilliant dream. So kind, so bright, and so very strong. I wanted to meet her. I longed to meet her. I couldn't stop myself from wishing. Even though I knew it was unforgivable. What? So, I decided to give shape to dreams. All in order to meet her. Interesting. That is a big old twisted tree. What is that? That's a bunicorn fly. I got nothing. what the crystal and the tree are all about. Wow, look at that. Plancha, or, or planchta, look how big it is. Indeed, Sophie. It's certainly impressive, isn't it? Hi, Sophie. And I'll, I'll try to stop butchering her name. Hi, Plachta. But it doesn't look alive. Is it the same tree as the one you saw in your dream? Not quite. The tree I saw was more, well, vibrant. Hmm. If only Oscar was here. Just where on earth did he get to? <laughs> he must have left to follow the voices of the plants he heard somewhere. That does sound like him. Hey, let's take a closer look. 
Yes, we might be able to learn something. Those are some weird eyes. Come on, Plachta. Let's go. Sophie, you will fall over if you run so fast. No, no lay-sai? I would have I would, I would lay-sided. I'd have been like... I guess I'll keep up. She's barely trotting. She's not running fast at all. Sophie, a thoroughly optimistic alchemist. She does seem optimistic. And Plachta, her mentor with the body of a doll. Well, that's awfully weird. Have left the comfort of Sophie's hometown to travel the world together. Indeed. Their journey has two objectives. The first, to restore Plachta, whose soul currently resides in a doll, to human form. That is a good goal. The second, for Sophie to follow in her grandmother's footsteps by becoming a licensed alchemist. Both goals demand great alchemical knowledge and single-minded determination. However, Sophie's mind is resolute, and every day she grows a little closer to making them a reality. What follows is only one of the many adventures waiting for her along the way. A mysterious story of a mysterious dream. Alright, I'm here for it. Let's just dream it up. Ooh, that is that is some bright grass. Ooh. Almost painful to look at. That's a weird dress hem you've got. Whoa, that looks even bigger up close. Well, yeah, that's how things work. We traveled around a lot, but this has to be the biggest tree I've ever seen. And so it is. I wonder why did this tree appear in my dream? It's pretty strange. Did you learn the way up? Oh, I missed it. I must have. Otherwise, I don't think we ever would have found this place buried so deep in the forest. Sorry, I was a little bit fast. It's like my dream was leading me here. I wonder if uh, I've been here before. I don't know. Plakta? Or Plakta? It's probably Plakta. It's nothing. Shall we look around some more? Plakta. I can't remember. I swear I, I, I've heard I've heard her name pronounced before. I'm sorry. I'm probably going to butcher everything for a little while. Hopefully I start to hone in on the correct terminologies and phrases and names and pronunciations. So just bear with me, guys and gals. We'll get through it. Uh, this seems bad. Like, incredibly bad. What? Uh-oh. It's pulling the doll away. Plachta! Uh, Sophie! You can do it! She's not gonna make it. Well, that's bad. Oh, she- Oh! Oh, she did! She said, not today, giant weird hole! At this rate, we'll both get sucked in. Sophie is going to suck us both in. Let go of my hand. I'm not going to let you go. Go on there with her. No way. It'll be okay. I'm going to save you. There we go. See? At least we're together now. Well, that was weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Giant, or did we get sucked into the crystal? Or like, what, what exactly happened? Well, this isn't quite what I had planned, but... 
most awkward. Oh, welcome to my land of dreams. It's like the most awkward camera angles all of the time. It's like, what? It kind of, it's kind of just a thing that you expect. Okay, so a cinematic plate. I'll probably stick that with the other video of the, the story so far. That way, if there are copyright thingies, it it just goes to that. I don't have to worry about it. It's one of those things I've kind of learned to do with just some games. I'm not saying that this would necessarily do it, but in general, if you can cut out like opening cinematics and stuff, less likely a copyright claim, which usually gets cleared up. It's just not worth the effort sometimes. If you can just bypass it. Oh, someone's passed out. They are. You're just gonna stand there? Oh, there we go. I'm like, I think you should probably. Hey, what's wrong? Are, are you okay? You stood there looking for a while. Plakta. It's probably Plakta as opposed to Plachta. Plachta sounds kind of gross, you know? Like Plachta. Ooh, Plakta. Doesn't sound much better, to be honest. Uh, huh? Huh? Where am I? Oh, good! You're you're finally awake. It's a let, apparently. Pirka, she's awake. Hi. That's good news. How do you feel? Are you in pain? I'm okay. Uh, where am I? Well, I found you passed out on the ground. Perka and I carried you back here. Passed out? I think... I was in a forest. That's right. Plakta! Was there anyone else with me when you found me? Was there? No, just her. Oh no. I've got to look for her. Uh, um, uh, thank you for helping me, uh, but I have to get going now. Wait, wait, wait. Just where do you plan on going? You don't know anything about this world yet, do you? This world? Aha, just like I thought. I haven't seen you around here before. How about you, Alette? I'm confused slightly. No, never. You're new to this world, aren't you? How would she know? Or what, what, what do you mean by this world? This should all have been explained to you before you came, wasn't it? No? Well, it's not easy to understand out of the blue. Let's start at the beginning. It's a good place. I know it's a little belated, but let me introduce myself. I'm Pirka, the owner of the store. What's up, Pirka? And I'm Alette Claritai, a merchant and procurer of fine goods. If there's anything you ever need, all you've got to do is ask. Thanks, Alette. I'm uh, Sophie Niyuen Muller. Mm, yep, that's totally how you pronounce that. I'm on a journey with Plakta. Is this Plakta the person you're looking for? Yes. I've got to find her right away. Now, now, calm down. We can explain all we want, but maybe it would be quicker just to show her. You're right. Sophie, if you're feeling up to it, how about we head outside? Well, I have large sleeves, but I guess I could go outside. Alright. Erde Wige, the land of dreams, has been added to the story. Stats have been added to the help. What's up? Let's head outside, okay? Okay. We run around with R2. We do. Look at these cool plants. They're glowing. I like it. You run with what? Is it R1? Yeah, or RB as they say. It'll probably start feeling more real to you once we go outside. The exit's this way. Alright, let's go outside. Talk to me, Goose. What are we talk what are we dealing with? What's going on?
It's a city, I mean... It's fine. What is this place? I knew it! Sophie, you haven't met uh, Elvira, have you? Elvira? Who's that? How strange. Elvira should have explained everything to you before you arrived here. Or, um... Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. This may seem a little sudden, but do you believe in other worlds? Maybe? This is a different world from the one you came from. It was created by the goddess of dreams, Elvira. This is Erdi Ouija, mm -hmm. the land of dreams. Ouija? Ouija? I don't know. Right now we're in Roytail, the town where everyone who comes to this world lives. Huh. Um, this is a joke, right? This place just looks like an ordinary town. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't look very extraordinary around here. It doesn't really seem like Pirka and Oleta are lying to me. Not to mention that vortex, that was definitely not normal. Could this really be a different world? But then where is Pachta? Speaking of which, how did you get here, Sophie? How? Uh, I don't really know myself. There was a great tree, or giant tree deep in the forest, but when we got near it, this huge vortex appeared and sucked us up. Giant tree and a vortex. I don't know anything about a vortex, but do you think she means the dream tree? Very likely, and considering where we found Sophie, that must be it. Where you found me. Please, take me there. Pacto might still be somewhere nearby. Alright, uh, I don't see it. I didn't see anyone else, but perhaps with the three of us. Ah, uh, but first, I should give you this. What are you giving me? A map. Take it. You'll feel a lot better with something to help you get your bearings. Alright. Mini map tutorial. Nope. Now, the new map in the bottom right corner of the screen displays useful information about your surroundings. It indicates the locations of your next destination, hostile monsters, quest objectives, special gathering points, and more. Press the left bumper or L1 to open the mini map in the middle of the screen. You can switch to it when you want to see the wider area around your current location. In any area where the mini map is displayed, you can press down on the D pad to open the full map. Use the full map to see more detailed information about your surroundings. And tutorial the story screen. The story screen is useful for reminding yourself of the story so far and your current objectives. You can open it by pressing whatever that button's supposed to be while in the field or at the main menu. When you want to prioritize a certain quest, press the A button or the cross button on the PlayStation controller to enable the guide. With the guide enabled, the mini-map will indicate the direction of your next destination. Press that button for an overview of all quests, including those you have completed. Some story quests may be locked. These can be unlocked by progressing through other stories. Try checking your progress if you're ever confused about what to do next. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Miss Alette. You don't need to miss me. Alette is fine. Really? Well, thank you, Alette. Now, set course for the dream tree. Double time! Yay! Y yay! Uh, lead the way? There is so many folks that want to talk to me. Hi! Oh, you're uh, not a customer, I presume. I'm in the business of selling information to merchants, specifically. After all, they've got more money than the average person. There's no better way to turn a profit. Well, 
I mean, I guess. I heard that the lady up on the bridge wants to open some kind of sweets shop. She wants to open a sweets shop. I love eating treats. Isn't that the perfect combo? Sure. All right, well, we'll, we'll figure that out more later. Let's, uh, are we heading the right way? Where is the dream tree? Okay, map travel destinations over this way. All right. Huh. I don't see a tree. Still thinking how it doesn't look much different from your normal world? Yeah, I mean, everyone just looks like normal people. Well, that's because we are. Everyone came here from the same world you did. Huh? Really? Really, really. The dreams we see when we're asleep are called dream visions in this world. Elvira uses our dream visions to see the dreams we deeply wish would come true. If she takes a particular interest in a dream, she will lead its owner to Erde Ouija, or Wige, or YJ, or something. I don't know. She has countless dream visions to search through, so we're all lucky to be chosen. Besides, this world is kind of unique. No matter how much time passes, none of us grow old. Oh, that's weird. For those with personal goals, this place really is a dream world. How's that? Feeling more informed? Eh, well... <laughs> Just try to understand what you can. In any case, let's head to the dream tree first. Well, before we make it all the way to the dream tree, which I guess is over this way. We'll get closer to it, but we probably won't go through it. We'll probably have to break off the episode, unfortunately. But it's all good. We are accomplishing quite a bit. I'm heading the right way. I think I am. All right. Right here. Yep, right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we go off to see the dream tree, we're going to break off the episode right here. I do hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a little bit of a shorter episode. We didn't get into things too, too much yet, but we will in the future. Don't you worry about that. All right, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that stuff down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links and things of that nature for all your informational needs. Like, subscribe, share. You know the score, folks. Until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.